Picture this, a backyard that feeds your family without constant intervention, where nature handles the heavy lifting and your role transforms from laborer to steward. The forever food forest represents a paradigm shift from conventional gardening, creating an edible ecosystem that mimics natural forests while producing abundant harvests. This approach becomes crucial as climate volatility intensifies and conventional food systems face increasing disruptions. Research from the Rodale Institute demonstrates that regenerative systems show 40% greater drought resilience compared to conventional methods, while studies in agroforestry systems document yields that match or even exceed traditional agriculture with dramatically reduced inputs. We are not building another garden bed requiring constant attention. We are engineering a living system where plants, soil organisms, and beneficial insects collaborate to create perpetual abundance. The foundation of a successful food forest begins with understanding permaculture zones, which organize your space based on intervention frequency. Zone 1 sits closest to your home, housing herbs and vegetables requiring frequent harvest. Zone 2 extends outward to fruit trees and berries needing weekly attention. Zone 3 becomes your primary food forest, where perennial crops thrive with minimal maintenance. This strategic placement reduces wasted movement while ensuring high-use plants receive adequate attention. Studies published in agricultural systems show that properly zoned permaculture designs reduce labor inputs by 60% compared to traditional layouts. The soil food web forms the invisible engine powering your food forest. Mycorrhizal fungi extend root systems up to 100 times their natural reach, accessing nutrients and water far beyond plant capability. These fungal networks trade soil nutrients for plant sugars, creating a symbiotic relationship that eliminates fertilizer dependence. Bacterial populations cycle nitrogen, making atmospheric nitrogen available to plants through decomposition processes. Research from the Soil Biology Primer documents that healthy soil contains up to 600 million bacteria per teaspoon, processing organic matter into plant-available nutrients without human intervention. Building this biological foundation requires understanding that every action either feeds or starves these organisms. Water management determines whether your food forest thrives or struggles through dry periods. Swales, which are level ditches running along contour lines, capture rainfall and allow infiltration rather than runoff. A properly designed swale can hydrate soil 20 feet downslope, creating moisture reservoirs that sustain plants through drought. Rain gardens positioned at downspouts concentrate water in strategic locations, supporting moisture-loving species while recharging groundwater. Research from the Permaculture Research Institute demonstrates that contour-based water harvesting can increase soil moisture retention by 300% compared to sloped systems. Your food forest should never need supplemental irrigation once established, relying instead on these passive systems to maintain adequate moisture. Plant guilds represent perhaps the most transformative concept in food forest design. Rather than isolated specimens competing for resources, Guilds create cooperative relationships where each member contributes specific functions. Consider the classic apple guild, media group, apple tree surrounded by companion plants, apple tree guild in backyard, permaculture apple guild, garden eye stock, distribute equally. The apple tree provides canopy and fruit production, comfrey mines deep soil nutrients and provides mulch, yarrow attracts beneficial predatory insects, clover fixes nitrogen while suppressing weeds, and daffodils deter voles from attacking roots. Research published in Renewable Agriculture and Food Systems shows that guild-based plantings reduce pest pressure by 75% compared to monoculture systems while increasing overall biomass production by 45%. Each plant fills a niche, creating redundancy that ensures system stability when individual species face stress. Understanding forest layers maximizes production from limited space. The canopy layer consists of large fruit and nut trees like apples, pears, and chestnuts. Below this, the understory holds smaller trees such as persimmons and plums. The shrub layer accommodates berries including currants, gooseberries, and blueberries. The herbaceous layer features perennial vegetables like asparagus and artichokes. Ground covers include strawberries and clover. Root crops like Jerusalem artichokes occupy the rhizosphere while vines scramble vertically through existing plants. Studies in agroforestry systems document that layered plantings can produce 40% more food per square foot compared to traditional row plantings, all while requiring substantially less maintenance. Selecting the right perennial backbone determines long-term success. 
asparagus produces for 20 years with minimal intervention, rhubarb returns reliably each spring without replanting. Perennial kales like daubentons and tree collards provide greens year-round in temperate climates. Groundnut supplies nitrogen-fixing roots with edible tubers. Walking onions reproduce without replanting, providing continuous green onions. Research from the Perennial Agriculture Project documents that perennial crops require 80% less tillage and 50% less fertilizer compared to annual vegetables, while building rather than depleting soil organic matter. These species form the framework around which annual production fits opportunistically. True food forest management embraces what appears counterintuitive to conventional gardeners. Weeds become dynamic accumulators, mining subsoil nutrients before being chopped and dropped as mulch. Pests indicate imbalanced ecosystems rather than requiring pesticide intervention. Studies from Hawaii's Instant Food Forest Project show that establishing dense plantings actually suppresses weed pressure by 90% within three years, as canopy closure blocks light from reaching bare soil. Your role shifts from controlling nature to facilitating beneficial processes, intervening only when observation reveals genuine problems rather than aesthetic preferences. Pruning serves multiple functions beyond harvest access. Selective removal directs energy toward fruit production while generating copious mulch material. Research published in Hort Science demonstrates that proper pruning increases fruit production by 30%, while simultaneously providing enough biomass to mulch the entire root zone. The pruned material feeds soil biology, creating a closed-loop system where nothing leaves the property. Succession planning acknowledges that food forests evolve through distinct phases. Early years feature nitrogen-fixing pioneer species like autumn olive and seaberry establishing soil fertility. Middle succession sees fruit production accelerating as trees reach maturity. Late succession transitions toward nut production from long-lived species like chestnuts and pecans. Studies in forest ecology document that mature food forests can maintain stable production for over 100 years with minimal intervention, contrasting sharply with annual gardens requiring complete replanting each season. Understanding these phases allows strategic introduction of species at appropriate moments rather than attempting complete establishment simultaneously. Starting small prevents overwhelm while building essential skills. Begin with a single guild around one fruit tree, observing how plants interact and respond to your site conditions. Expand incrementally as confidence grows, learning from both successes and failures. Research from the Permaculture Association UK shows that gardeners starting with modest projects show 85% greater long-term persistence compared to those attempting complete property transformation immediately. Each season provides feedback for refinement, gradually developing the observation skills that distinguish food forest stewards from conventional gardeners. The benefits extend far beyond personal harvest. Dense planting sequester atmospheric carbon at rates matching or exceeding natural forests. Diverse ecosystems support beneficial insect populations, contributing to landscape-scale pollinator health. Research from the Xerces Society documents that biodiverse homelandscapes support 50% more pollinator species compared to conventional yards. Your food forest becomes a refuge for biodiversity while producing abundant food, demonstrating that human needs and ecological health complement rather than compete. Join us in transforming how we understand food production. Subscribe to the Living Soil Lab for detailed tutorials on guild design, soil biology management, and perennial crop selection. And share this video with fellow gardeners ready to embrace truly sustainable abundance. The food forest revolution begins in backyards like yours, proving that working with nature produces far greater results than fighting against it. Your, your journey toward perpetual harvest starts today.